Most people think that a redwood tree's roots must go really deep if they're going to support such a large tall tree. But it turns out that their roots only go about 6 to 12 feet deep beneath the soil, and the key to their stability is that their roots spread about 80 feet wide where they can grow and interlock with other trees in the redwood forest. This stabilization helps provide support during strong winds and allows these trees to grow upwards of 300 feet or 100 meters tall. And while they're up so high, redwoods can actually harvest the fog out of the air through specialized leaves that allow water to flow into their stomata. This helps these giants get enough water even during the hot, dry summer months. And if a wildfire were to break out in these dry forests, the tree's extremely thick bark and high concentrations of tannic acid allow it to resist these wildfires. And that's why if you walk through a redwood forest, you'll notice a lot of old growth trees with big, dark fire scars on their trunks. But if an intense fire or something else actually kills a redwood, it takes hundreds of years for that log to decompose back into soil. And during that time, it's locking up tons of carbon in that log, it's supporting tons of insects and birds, and other wildlife, and it can act as a nurse log upon which other plants can begin to grow. Any way you put it, redwoods are simply incredible organisms, and it's unfortunate that we've lost over 95% of our old growth redwood forests due to irresponsible logging and development practices post-European colonization. If you want to help support and restore these forests, check out Save the Redwoods League or Redwoods Rising.